Welcome back everyone to The Crew 2. Now, today is a wonderful day. We have got a big, big update. If you can't tell, I'm in third person. Look, there's me. If I can see my ugly face, there I am. Anyway, two big name cars have dropped today. There's this thing, the Koenigsegg Yesco. Now, this thing will be in tomorrow's video so if you want to see me mess around with that get subscribed but today do not click out because there is something just as interesting there is this thing the 2020 shelby mustang gt 500 this thing is quite literally ford's answer to the corvette zr1 this thing is a beast and oh god it's expensive uh let's see what colors we've got we've got a horrible green we've got a classic white a lovely blue a nice gray a nice navy and a nice red but let's be real it's a mustang it has to be this wheels we've got black and we've got ooh oh i'm actually gonna go with the seven spokers oh that was expensive oh great it had to be raining as i come out a mustang in the rain that's gonna be good so uh let's see how this thing is because on paper it doesn't look too much different than the gt fat oh oh Oh! Oh, that's a dirty noise! Oh! Well, we'll see how it is. It's got decent acceleration off the mark, and my god, that soundtrack is just incredible. You cretin! But anyway, as we nearly mustanged it into that people carrier. Oh, it's got the lovely little updated in it. I've got to stop mustanging it. Oh, it wants to be tail happy already. And it just seems so nice. I wonder what class this is stock. I didn't even check. Oh, this is all new. So you've got your crew management straight from the window now rather than a stupid separate thing but then again you also have to go to your vehicle so a stupid separate thing so uh they've given and taken away so also let's see what hobbies are so performance we're already sat at over 200 with 760 horsepower let's beef this mother up a little because I want to see straight away what this thing can do. Because there's no point getting in a stop Mustang and realising, oh, it tries to kill me. So there it is maxed out at 280. It's over 1,100 horsepower now and it's close to expert handling. I would think so with that. Wait a minute. There's a new tab. Customize. What's this? No! You can do this now without having to go to the ha Oh, yes, please and thank you. Let's see what we've got then. Uh, all carbon hood, more vents, more vents. And the regular, what looks like the regular hood, just with the bonnet hooks. You know what I actually like? I actually like the stock one. Front bumper. There's 20 front bumpers, okay? That changes that. Headlights. Oh, ooh, I like the outlined lettering. Oh, that adds a nice little GT500 badge. And then you've got full race. Oh! Oh! 
I don't know what I want more. If I want that one. No. No. Give me exposed. Oh, you can wide body. Rims, I'm going to keep the same. Caliper colours, I'm going to keep the same. Now, let's see what we've got. We've got black, orange, and need for speed style wing mirrors. Okay, we'll take them. Side skirts, we've got a little bit of orange rather than the black. And then it extends all the way to the rear. Actually, I quite like the look of that, okay. Then we've got the separate wide body again. Make it a thick boy. Rear wangs. I make change the end plate. A little bit of a RTR. No, not an RTR. More of a rocket bunny style wing. That's an overhang. Uh, no, nah, I like the stock wing. Rear bumpers. Here we go. So that made it carbon at the back, filled in, made that orange, just to have a trim orange, big beefy exhausts, titanium tips, oh. Oh, God. No, I, I, I've got to go with this. I've got to go with some titanium tips when you need to. Let's get uh, some nice interior colours. Interior, make it nice and classy. Now, the big question is... Oh, that looks so good. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave all the vanity items where they are. Has anyone made any liveries for this thing yet? Oh. Some stripes. Jesus, wet people have been busy. I sort of like that one right there. Ironically from Koenigsegg 532. Now the big question is, will I spawn on the road or spawn in the house? Okay, I'm still in the menu. <gasps> oh, you can now customize your cars without having to go to the stupid house. Oh, yes, please and thank you. And we sound so much meatier. Okay, this is a... Uh, it picks up quick. Oh! Oh! Sorry! Oh, this is a fast boy. This is a real fast boy. Okay, it hauls. It does haul. But I want to see the race that everyone pulls. And that is the Vegas showdown. It's the South Strip. You don't do anything else. And let's do max difficulty to see what this baby can really do. God, it sounds so good. What are you doing in the middle of the road, man? Let's see the AI haven't got any better.
Okay, if you're delicate with this thing, it handles like a goddamn ballerina. And it hauls like a pissed off donkey. Oh. But it does burn its tyres so easily. Oh my god, look at my front! It handles so well, you can snap it right, left, right, left, and it just does what you want, and the brakes are actually fantastic. The only thing I would warn you is it burns its tyres very easily. And when I say burns its tyres, I mean when you go around the corner and you just light up the rear as a bit of a drift. It's very hard to oh, regain grip once you have lost grip oh come on big boy I can't get over how good it sounds I mean it's got exposed into color for Christ's sake you know, exposed to anything is better. Each, well, apart from organs and... Well, there are quite a lot of things that aren't better exposed. You know what I just said. But, on the whole, not bad, considering I haven't done that and it's the first time driving this competitively. I could clean it up a lot better, but 158 on that hand... Let's be real, it's a handling circuit for a muscle car. And... It just took it in its stride. I am very, very happy with this. It's such a agile little thing. You know, you can chuck it around and it just feels so nice. Where it's not outlandish to look at. I mean, I know I've made it outlandish to look at now, but you know, you have a look at it and to the average person it's not that much different from the regular Mustang but underneath it's just got so much more power. Oh my god I'm so happy with this and don't forget tomorrow comes the Koenigsegg Yesco. The car which is making its first proper AAA title debut. And no one really counts Asphalt 9 because that's a money laundering scheme for children who have stolen their money, mother's credit cards. But anyway though, I have been your host, Mr. Gage. This has been my review, if you want, or virtual review, of the Shelby Mustang GT500 2020 in The Crew 2. And I'll see you all in the next video, whatever that may well be. Bye-bye.